At the Foot of the Cross is a production of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. It is a reflection on the Gospels of the Sundays of Lent and Holy Week. Your program host is Father Jim Corda. Modern psychologists tell us that one of the major responsibilities of parents is to help their children build a strong self-image of themselves. The way we live is determined in large measure by what we think of ourselves. In light of that statement, what about the self-image of Jesus? What do you think he thought of himself? I believe that the gospel for this Holy Thursday gives us some insight into the answer to that question. The story tells about when Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. The scripture tells us that Jesus was fully aware that he had come from God and was going to God. So he knew exactly who he was. What a gift that is to know exactly who you are. You see, Jesus didn't have to prove himself to anyone. He could accept a claim without arrogance. He could handle rejection without resentment. He could serve without recognition. And why? Because he knew who he was. What a great gift that is to know exactly who you are. The only reason that we know that Jesus washed his disciples' feet is that they told us. And that is the way that Jesus always worked, quietly, inconspicuously. Think of the times when he healed the sick and told them to tell no one who did it. Can you imagine that? If we had raised someone from the dead or healed someone who had been sick for years, we would want the entire world to know it. Not Jesus. He knew who he was. How often are we like little children who need attention and recognition and appreciation of the things that we do? And if we do not get them, then we sulk and cry and complain. And what about those others who get all the credit and we get nothing? We are not children. We are grown adults who know better. But do we know who we really are? As we stand at the foot of the cross, may we have the courage to discover who we are and spend less time seeking recognition and acclaim and more time in humble gratitude and grace for what God has done for us in Jesus Christ, our Lord.